All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rikakodash, and to Wada Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit and truth in these last days. As always, double honors to our apostles. There was a great millstone that taught us this truth and do real well. Peace and salutations to the Zakwani Wa Achim, and Shalom to the elect. This is a uh, Jude uh, 1, verse uh, 6. And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he have reserved in everlasting chains under darkness until the judgment of the great day. Done. So, those angels, all right, which will be the man of the Lord, okay, uh, which ultimately is the nation of Israel, all right, but uh, kept not their first estate. So, when you go into this word first estate in the 1611, it says uh, principality. So, when you go into etymology, I wrote it down, or uh, the etymology for principality. All right, because uh, this is what Esau, um, Edom, this is the illusion. All right, and it said uh, they shall dwell in darkness, being uh, this flesh. But this is why our people are bugged out, man. Isaiah the 60th chapter, okay, it says uh, gross darkness upon the earth, man. All right, so our people are uh, under the spell, all right, and under that darkness and under that illusion that they're black. Okay, and that the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, all right, is is uh, the prince. Okay, that he is a uh, God, that he is, you know, he's a ruler. He sitteth on the throne as he is God, according to the prophets. But no, the scriptures say uh, uh, he's getting ready to get humbled, man. All right. He's getting ready to be revealed. Second Thessalonians, and, and only he that will let it will let. And that's what's happening. The Heavenly Father, all right, is uh, uh, revealing this man. As it is written, all right, I have made Esau bear. So this is the word principality. All right, um, in um, Jude 1, all right, for uh, first estate, because this, this is the estate that we are uh, left, but this is our natural habitation. All right, so this is from the uh, 1300s. It says, position of a prince, principal matter, power, sovereignty, region or state ruled by a prince. All right, in our... Uh, it's from the uh, word principle, so the word principality, pretty much meaning power, all right, or position of a prince, which we are the princes, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, we are those princes, man. We are the sons of the Most High. We're just coming back into their understanding, as it is written, all right. As it not is it not written in your law that ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High, all right. So we're all princes, man. And this is what uh, uh, we're here to uh, uh, do, man. All right. Kwame Yashal, arise the elect of the nation of Israel through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem through the belief. All right. Because this is our state. This is our natural habitation. Okay. That has been stripped from us, but it's coming back to us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashal, man. And this devil is through. So it says, um, the principality, which means power, is from the word principle. Which means first in importance, original, chief, great. So the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, all right, he feels that he is first. But what does the scripture say? All right, let's go to the prophecy, man, in the book of Second Ezra. Let's get that real quick. In the book of uh, Second Ezra. Book of uh, Second Ezra, Slakia again. Give Second Ezra, chapter six. All right, in verse uh, seven. Then answer I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Okay, and uh, the scriptures say, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. So the only way you can measure the time diligently is by going through the scriptures, man. So Esau, being wiser than Daniel, have given a diligent search, all right, and how he can cover the earth uh, as it is written, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked so that the elect, all right, will not wake up to this truth, all right, because this is the way out, man. This is the way we're going to get back into that rulership, back in that power, that sovereignty, that principality, man. So that's why we're putting on the arm of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, because it's not us, it's the spirit of the Lord. All right, and that's through these words, man. So kahala ya basmi al shai, tamiyad. All right, it says, "Oh, when 
or when shall be the end of the first? So the end of the first. And what? It says uh, the word principality, meaning power. Okay. And then from the word principle, meaning first in importance. Right? So what shall be the end of the first being who? The so-called white meaning so eating because what? It's going to say the first shall be last. Right? So who came out first according to the prophecies? What we're reading about, man. The so-called white man, Esau, Edom came out first, man. All right? And that's where our Revelations, the 13th chapter, it says, Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, the believers in Yahweh Bashmi outside that what? All right? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So his destiny is captivity, man. All right? But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. All right, we're waking up to this uh, principality, this power, man. Which the word principality, the word prince is in there, man. So we're coming back into that understanding, that God-like state, man. Because it was prophesied, man. All right. Second Ezra 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? So the beginning of it that followeth, all right. Is the elect starting with Yahweh Shai? So that's why when you go into the word um, principality, it means power. Okay, uh, from the word uh, principle, meaning first or great. All right, and the word principle in the etymology, okay, uh, is from the word uh, prime. All right, and um, the word prime is a verb, and it, and it means uh, first in order, in front of, before, first chief. Prime, uh, uh, the noun meaning beginning. So, the 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 the, the one hundred and forty four thousand are or what you would look at a movie like um, what's this movie uh, Transformers? Well, we're one hundred and forty four thousand Optimus Primes, man. All right, we're just coming back into our state from the beginning because the scriptures say, "Behold, I make all things new," man. So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmi al is dealing with man here on the planet Earth. And this is starting off with our faith. Our belief is changing the world, man. Our belief is changing the world. We're putting things in order, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi al All right. Uh, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Sheesh. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right. So... All right, you have to uh, uh, understand that, okay, the, the only reason why we're in this low condition is because uh, Esau is the end of the world, man. So these uh, uh, things that's happening upon the planet Earth, these earth uh, here it is, you have a, a hurricane called uh, Hurricane Isaiah, man. All right, I mean, it's, it's all through the scriptures, man. The Heavenly Father visit the earth with thunders, tempests, earthquakes, whirlwinds, all right? But the scriptures say uh, the, the, the end is manifested man, in the book of Second Ezra. So these are all things that you would have to look out for and read about and understand that this is the sign of the end of the so-called white man Esau Edom in the beginning of our rulership, man. Okay, and this is what our, our, our forefathers and our apostles and elders, all right, have been uh, looking for diligently, all right, and waiting upon, man. Okay, to be back in that principality. So with that, let's go ahead and get this, all right, um, in the etymology. Okay, because we are prisoners, man. <laughs> you know, we are prisoners, man. And we already got the victory, but we must wait. That's why it's going to say, wait ye upon the Lord. Wait, I say. King David said that. King David said, wait on the Lord, I say. So let's get this here in the book of um, Zechariah. All right. Give, get in there. All right. Zechariah chapter 8. And I believe verse 12. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 12. It's lucky. Yep. God, because we in prison, this, this flesh, going back to the book of Jude, the first chapter, okay? Everlasting chains of darkness, man. All right, so we're just waiting uh, to be released from this prison sentence, man, which is the flesh. 
Okay, and that's the whole point of this video, man. We're waiting to be released from this prison sentence, which is this flesh. That's why in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, man. All right? And that's the mercy of the Heavenly Father through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, our Lord and our Savior, all right, who came down and died in the flesh, all right, for the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect so we can all be placed back in order, man. So this is uh, Zechariah 9, verse 12. Turn ye to the stronghold. Which what? Proverbs 18 and 10 says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. So the name of the Heavenly Father is that strong tower, man. That's the stronghold you have to run to. All right? It says, turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. So when you go into this word prisoner in the etymology, okay, it says captivity, imprisonment, uh, uh, in quote, by influence of a uh, uh, press, quote, taken, see the word prize, all right, and, the, and that word prize, when I looked it up, I, you know, I've, ri I've written this down from the etymology, so the word prisoner pretty much means being in captive was taken, right, so, but it says, see the word prize, so the, the word prison, prisoner comes from the word prize because you belong to somebody, you are somebody, uh, 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 possession, right? So it says, uh, see the word prize, and the word prize means reward, worthy of a prize. So we are worthy, Lord's will, if we be the hopeful elect, okay, to be saved from the destruction that's going to come because we are the prize of the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, as it is written. Shall I find faith on earth? Okay, and that faith, the scripture says, uh, your confidence, man, is it has a great reward. All right. So we getting ready to cash out because of our faith, our belief, man, our confidence in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But all we have to do is believe. Okay, and wait for the warden, man. Wait for the warden to come through, man. All right. It says, "I'll turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today, do I declare that I will render double unto thee." And that's what happened, man. All right. So the uh, the scriptures. All right, when it speaks about in Lim Limitations, the second chapter, all the nations pass by us and hiss at us, that's, that's what's happening, man. No respect to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. But the scriptures say in the book of Baruch, in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. So in the land of our prison sentence, we was going to remember who we were, all right? And through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashem and was going to get the name, all right? Which turning back to the stronghold so that what we can come back into the understanding, come back into the truth, come back into our principality, man. Because we have slack it had the bird. Because we put on the Lord, the Lord, man. We put on this word, man. Ephesians the sixth chapter, man. And this is what the nations are afraid of, man. This is what they uh, 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 they don't want to happen, man. Because once we came into this understanding, they are afraid, man. Everybody is bugging out. The whole world is changing, man. Because we know the names of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Kodash, man. And we in order on the planet Earth, man. And we just waiting to be released. We can see the warden walking up to the to, to us with the keys, as it is written. <laughs> he has the key of David, man. In the house of David, he rebuilt. Come on, man. So that man coming through, man, for us. All right, so Lord's will, you know, this was edifying to the elect. Until the next time, I say shalom.